and it's the 40th anniversary of this. Easy come, easy go, little high, little low. The song that saved Queen from bankruptcy. And finally, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Or can it really be 40 years since Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, one of pop music's most influential songs, entered the charts? Among the celebrations, a recognition award for Queen's legendary guitarist, Brian May. He's been reminiscing with News at 10. Easy come, easy go, little high, little low. The video cost £3,500 and took four hours to make. And British music had never seen anything like it. To me. Today, Queen's guitarist says Bohemian Rhapsody is the song that saved their careers. Just killed a man. Put a it always does feel great doing that song. It was just a great time. I mean, the great times are always right next to tragedy in a sense because we were right on the breadline. We were. Well, we were, no, below the red line, really. we, we were bankrupt. Later this month, Queen will release this footage from 1975, the first tour in which they played Bohemian Rhapsody live. Tomorrow, the band will pick up the top honour at the Classic Rock Awards. Freddie Mercury died 24 years ago after battling AIDS. He would, says May, enjoy the accolades his song still receives. I think he would just smile. <laughs> I think he would be pleased that people are still interested and still excited by that creation. Um, it was an amazing time for us all. So Freddie's a great thing in our life still. You know, I wish he was here to enjoy it, of course. Over the years, many have paid tribute. To the skies and sea. Though there is nothing quite like the real thing. That's your lot. No chance of that. Next year, Queen headline the Isle of Wight Festival. And guess which song they'll all be screaming out for. Nina Nana, News at 10. That is it for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. Good night. Thank you for watching.